Biologists, landscape ecologists have started to become very interested in the ways that we can use uh, the sounds in the environment to understand the health of the environment. Today we are at the Indian Fort Preserve where we are recording the underwater sounds to get a sense of the ecoacoustics, that is the sounds that are made by biotic organisms under the water that we aren't able to hear as we walk around here on the edges of the pond. We take the hydrophone and we drop it into the water and then we wait a minute for any air bubbles, everything to settle back down and then we record for one minute, and then we move on to the next site and repeat the process. The only thing that I've, we're 100% able to identify species and everything is frogs. You can hear the frogs calls from under the water as well, and some birds. But mostly what we hear in underwater soundscapes are um, insects, are aquatic insects, uh, and the stridulations. Same idea as like a cricket rubbing his back legs together. Um, when beetles swim, their back legs hit together or their um, the hard exoskeleton parts hit together. I love the opportunity to be able to do it, so getting involved in the research really has opened the doors of, oh, this is what actual biologists do with their time, and this is what actual research is, not just reading, be like, oh, that sounds cool, actually being involved with it. So this summer, we are making some baseline recordings at four different ponds around the area to get an understanding of the ecoacoustics of these ponds, and in particular, how the ecoacoustics uh, reflect the biodiversity in those ponds changes over the course of the summer season. So we're starting in June, and we'll be making recordings through August, and I hope in the future we can make uh, more recordings in other seasons to more fully understand the ecoacoustics of these habitats.